Race one, top of the stretch, has one, Sweet Sadie Joe, two Call Me Sunshine, three, Fairly Diana, four, Premier Elma first, five, Nick Way Mercer, six, The Dragger Man, seven, Outside, Queen Diana, here they come. Fan pacing, call me sunshine, quickly away, Premier Elma first, Fairly Diana, Queen uh, Diana to a break as they drive into the first turn, get on by the eighth mark, up front, your early leader is call me sunshine, Fairly Diana drives up to on the outside, Premier Elma first up the rail, showing third, Nick Way Mercer in four, the Dragger Man in five, well back after breaks are Sweet Sadie Joe and uh, Queen Diana. Past the quarter mile mark they go. Fairly Diana is moving to the top after an opening quarter of 31 and two fifths. There goes Premier Elma first up to on the outside. Call me sunshine showing third out the rail from four Nick Way Mercer. The Dragger Man in five. Queen Diana wide in six and uh, Sweet Sadie Joe is trailing. They're in front of the stand first time. Move by the half mile mark all led by fairly diana up front premier elma first wide second call me sunshine showing third the dragger man is wide in four nick way mercer in five then queen diana and sweet sadie joe trails 102 and two by the half mile mark inside the final three eights to go and your leader up front fairly diana has them by two call me sunshine is racing second there goes the Dragger Man up on the outside third. Showing fourth, Premier Elma first. Queen Diana's back with the field and on the outside and five. They're by the three-quarter mile mark. Head for the seven-eighths and your leader up front is Fairly Diana. One, 34 and four by the three-quarter mile mark. Inside the final eighth of pace. Fairly Diana's taking them on home. Racing a second car. Only sunshine, the dragger man on the outside, right down to the wire. It's going to be fairly Diana to win it. Second, call me sunshine, the dragger man for three. Back to the wire is your unofficial winner of race one, your number three entry, Fairly Diana. Three-year-old pacing black filly by sample fell off from the damn Fairly Lucky. On your one, Howard Kensington, Wade Waugh, Summerside. Paul McDonald in the bike for the driving win. The mile 205 and three becomes a maiden record for three, Fairly Diana. Inquiry light up in race one involves possible interference by seven on six in the stretch drive. It's post time. A starter calls the horses. Race two, top of the stretch, has one little Yankee to Glencoe Fury, three, Raging Spur, four, Angela's Dandy, five, Premier Etois, six, outside is Horton Storm. Here they come. Fan 
and pacing, Little Yankee at the rail for the late Angelo Standy drives up on the outside. They go racing into the first turn, get on by the eighth mark, led by Little Yankee up front. Angelo Standy is racing along the rail, second now, coming away, third is Glencoe Fury, showing forth Premier Etois, Raging Spur back in five, and your early trailer is Horton Storm. Little Yankee is your leader of this field, past the opening quarter they go. Racing second, Angela's Dandy, Glencoe Fury showing third. Premier Etois looks at it from four, Raging Spur, and a Horton Storm is trailing. Moving to the three-eighths they go, and a little Yankee is taking them off the top turn for the half. Angela's Dandy is racing second, Glencoe Fury showing third. Fourth at the rail is Premier Etois, Raging Spur looks at it in five, and a Horton Storm trails. Past the half they go. No change in possession. Still, little Yankee showing the way up front. 103 and 1 by the half mile mark. They're into the paddock turn second time. Moved by the 5 eighths, and a little Yankee will take them back side final time. At the rail, second is Angela Standy. Up on the outside, Clanko Fury driving third. Premier Etoile looks at it from four. Back fifth, Raging Spur. And a rough gator trailing Horton Storm. A little Yankee is turning it on as they race on to the 7 8 mark. 134 by the 3 quarter mile mark. And a little Yankee is opening up by 2. Now 3 open legs. Angela's Dandy is showing a second. Premier Etoile drives up on the outside. Right down to the wire. This race belongs to. Little Yankee! It's close for second and third. Back to the wire is your unofficial winner of race number two, your number one entry, Little Yankee. Three-year-old pacing chestnut filly by Majestic Yankee from the Dam Colonist. On with Christine Mosier, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Danny Romo in the bike for the driving win. A last half with these of 59 and 4. Winning 203 the mile for one Little Yankee. One Little Yankee, your race winner to Glencoe Fury. Race three for the New Flanders Pace. From the inside out, we have Glencoe Epic, Ali McIsaac, Lindale Dexter, Demon Sky from six, most special fella, IG Havy, and Harrow Eds. Field of seven, here they come. They're off fan racing now with Island McIsaac on the outside, Lindale Dexter. Most special fell up on the outside to challenge now for two. Island McIsaac now shows on top. Most special fell up two on the outside. Lindale Dexter now three and along the rail. Four down the backside now as Demon Sky. Five on the inside, Lincoln Epic. They race on to the opening quarter now with Most Special Fella. Most special 
fella now settles on top. Two on the inside, Ollie McIsaac. Three, Lindell Dexter now, four on the outside. That's Harrowitz now as they reach opening quarter. They'll show it most special fella. Quarter pace in 31 and two. They'll race the lane went out for the half. Most special fella now sets the pace. Two, Ollie McIsaac, three now, Lindell Dexter. Four on the inside with Demon Sky. Five on the outside comes Harrow. It's seven Glingo Epic. Now your trailer IG Heavy. They race a half now with Mo Special Fella. Ollie McIsaac holds on to. They reach the half in 103 and 2. We got a half to go now with Mo Special Fella. Up on the inside, down the back side with Ollie McIsaac. Three wide now comes Harrow. It's four Lindell Dexter. Here comes Glenn Cove. It be on the outside. It's Harrow. It's now between horses. Holly McIsaac. Three wide on the outside. Glenn Cove. Epic. They've reached the three quarters with Harrow. It's it was paced in 135 and two. We've got an eighth of a mile to go. It's Harrow. It's now between horses. Holly McIsaac. Lindell Dexter now with Demon Sky. They race to lay now with Harrow it's here comes Ollie McIsaac to the inside they race to the wire it's gonna be Harrow it's Ollie McIsaac and Lindell Dexter Now parading the top of the stretch to our winner circle, the unofficial race winner. Race three on the night's car, the number eight entry, Harrow Itz. Facing brown horse five-year-old by Harris out of Itz Fly Girl. Harrow Itz is owned and driven to a fine drive tonight by Harold Shepard. Pacing a mile of 204 and four. To the winner circle now to receive the Newfoundland Space Cooler. Cooler now will be presented by Bob Kane and Fred Gulliver. Presenting a cooler now in race number three. Also, Stephen Gulliver. The little guy will present the driver with the new whip. That's a new hit to Harold Shepard, the driver of Harrow Eds. That's number eight, Harrow Eds, John Fisher Race winner now, race number three, receiving the 1994 Newfoundland's Pace Cooler from the Casino now from the St. John's Trotton Pace Park. It's post time. Starter calls the horses. Race four, top of the stretch, has one Dr. Dividend, two Riverview Sky, three Julie Zip, four Alan Delivia, five HP's Mayflower, six on the outside is Boo Boo Sherry. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Julie's up. Following to get out for the lead as they go racing into the first turn. Dr. Dividend comes away second. Riverview Sky showing third. Boo Boo Sherry moves up on the outside, driving fourth. Alan Dullaby comes away fifth. Your early trailer, HP's Mayflower. They go racing to the opening quarter. Boo Boo Sherry powers up on the outside. And there goes looking for the lead. Boo Boo. Sherry outside and moving to the top. Now racing second is Julie Zip. Dr. Dividend showing third. Fourth is Riverview Sky. Alan Delivia. Your trailer sixth. Moving to the outside is HP's Mayflower. 30 and 2 by the quarter mile mark. They come swinging off the top turn. This field shown the way by Boo Boo Sherry up front. 
Racing a second is Julie Zip. Dr. Dividend is third. HP's Mayflower on the outside in four. There goes Alan Delivia wide in five. And a Riverview Sky is Turrelling. They race the paddock turn second time. 101 and four by the half mile mark. They have three eighths a left a pace. And a Boo Boo Sherry will take them backside final time. Julie Zip showing a second. HP's Mayflower driving. Driving up on the outside third. There goes Alan Delivia wide in for Dr. Dividend. And the Riverview Sky is trailing. There by the three-quarter mile mark. Seven eights is next. And Boo Boo Sherry will take them there. HB's Mayflower getting closer on the outside. Three quarters timed 134. HB's a Mayflower getting a neck in front. Boo Boo Sherry still there at the end second. They race through the stretch. Highland Olivia up between horses. HB's Mayflower Julie Zip at the rail. It's going to be HB's Mayflower to win it. It's close for second and third. Winner of race four, your number five entry, HB's Mayflower. Four year old pacing Bay Mayor Benuke Slobell from the dam, HB's Blossom. On by Clarendella Sweet of Willary, Paul McDonald in the bag for the driving win. The mile, two all four and four for five, HB's Mayflower. Here now are the official results of race four. One Dr. Dividend, six. Two Riverview Sky, five. Three Julie Zip, three. Four Alan Delivia, four. Five. Race five, top of the stretch, the Weedman Pace has one Township Cassandra, two Bobby's Fancy, three Nick Way Rafferty, four Michael's Knight, five three turn, six outside is Bluetooth. Here they come. They're off and pacing Township Cassandra quickly away at the rail for the lead as they go racing into the first turn. Township Cassandra shows the way up front. Nick Way Rafferty is racing second of Michael's Knight drives up on the outside driving third. Bobby's Fancy at the rail in four. From five is three turns and Bluetooth is trailing. They go racing to the opening quarter up on the outside. Michael's Knight is going to the top. Township Cassandra is racing a second, showing third Nick Way Rafferty. From four, Bobby's Fancy. There goes three turns on the outside and five. And Bluetooth is trailing. 29 and four by the opening quarter. Off the top turn they come. Race through the stretch. They approach the half. Led by Michael's Knight. Up on the outside. Three turns in. Is a looking for the lead by here first time. They go racing into the paddock turn on the way to the five eights. Three turns outside. Michael's not up the rail. Those two battle neck and neck past the five eights mark. Half a mile a minute two fifths. They race the back stretch final time and uh, Michael's night still on top. Three turns drives up and at him on the outside second. Nick Way Rafferty one third township Cassandra Bobby's fancy well back and out of it Bluetooth they move to the 7 eights mark and uh, Michael's Knight is still on top 1 31 and 3 by the 3 quarters Michael's Knight 3 turns is finding more and coming back on Nick Way Rafferty's gonna go 3 wide for home it's Michael's Knight township Cassandra coming up along the rail Nick Way Rafferty in three turns. It's gonna be Michael's night to win it. It's close for second and third.
Back to the wire is your unofficial winner of race five, the Weedman Pace, your number four entry, Michaels Knight. Five-year-old pacing black gelding by nightly blue chip from the dam Slidini. Only Donnie Sweet of Alberton, Vaughn Doyle in the bike for the driving win. The mile, 203 and a three for four, Michaels Knight. Across the track on behalf of Weed Man are Angus and Caroline Burt and their son John presenting the Weed Man Pace Cooler to the winning horse of race number five. That is Michael's Knight. The owner, Donnie Sweet, driver Vaughn Doyle winning the Weed Man Pace in 203 and 3. It's post time. A starter calls the horses. Race six, top of the stretch. The Moosehead Dry Pace has one. Burnin' Burnin', two T Bill, three Pit Bull Pat, four FJ Charles, five on the outside is Acton Gold. He they Kim. Rough and pacing. T Bill quickly away for the lead as they drive into the first turn. Pitbull Pat driving a second off the rail. Burning Burning comes away. Third FG Charles in four. Fifth and trailing is Acton Gold. They're racing up the back stretch first time. On their way to the opening quarter, led by T Bill up front. Pitbull Pat is racing a tight second, showing third is Burning Burning. FG Charles fourth. Fifth and trailing is Acton Gold. They get on by the opening quarter. Race on to the 3 8 mark, led by T Bill up front. Racing a tight second is Pitbull Pat. They were by the opening quarter in 30 and uh, four fifths. Off the top turn they come, swinging for the half mile mark. Your lady remains T Bill as they approach the half, showing second Pitbull. Ball Pat. Here comes Acton Gold up on the outside third. Following wide in for FG Charles. And uh, Burnin Burnin is trailing. They race the paddock turn second time. Half a mile reached in 101 and two fifths. They're inside the final three eights to go. And T Bill is taking them backside final time. Up on the outside, Acton Gold is showing second. Racing it along the rail third pit. Ball Pat, F.G. Charles motoring wide in four, and uh, Burnham Burnham shuffled back to fifth. They're by the three quarter mile mark. Seven eights is next. One thirty one and two by the three quarters. They have an eighth of a mile left to go. T. Bill on top. Here comes Acton Gold up on the outside. Pit Ball Pat in the passing lane. F.G. Charles up on the extra outside for the run across the track. It's going to be Pitbull Pat to win it. It's close for second and third. Sixteenth Avenue on a Gerald Green, Jadik, Nova Scotia, Alex McDonnell, Porter, Nova Scotia. On four does the driving, the mile two oh one four three Pitbull Pat. No trackside, the Moosehead Dry Pace Cooler being presented to the winning horse of a race number six. Leith Dickinson, director here at the Charlottetown Driving Park, along with executive vice president of the USDA, Mr. Fred Noe, on the track side, presenting the Moosehead Dry Pace Cooler to Pitbull Pat, the mile 201.
Race 7, top of the stretch, the Southport Home Centre pace has one angelic vision to Princetown Grace, three champion Terrio, four Benny's Dream, five You and Me Kid, six is Copper Leo, seven on the outside is Just Souza. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Angelic Vision quickly away for the late cup. Leo drives up to on the outside. Racing along the rail third is Princetown Grace. You and me, kid, comes away fourth. Princetown Grace, a rough gate up momentarily up the rail as they go racing and up the back stretch first time. On their way to the opening quarter, Angelic Vision is showing the way up front. Copper Leo pacing along second. You and me, kid, looks at it third. From four as Princetown Grace, champion Terrio in five. Just Souza out in six, trailing as they move by the opening quarter as Benny's Dream. That quarter reached in 30 and uh, four fifths off the top turn they come. This field shown the way by Angelic Vision up front. Has it by two open lengths now. Showing second is Copper Leo. Moving up on the outside as they approach the half. Just Souza is tipping three wood on the outside. Past the half mile mark they go. And your leader up front is Angelic Vision and opening up. They race the paddock turn second time. 102 and three by the half mile mark. And your leader up front, Angelic Vision by three. Racing second is Princetown Grace. Just Souza moves up on the outside third. You and me get up the rail in four. They race the back stretch second and final time. And your leader up front, Angelic Vision has them by three open lengths. Princetown Grace moves off the rail second. You and me get inside third. Just Souza's going three wide in four. One thirty five. Five and two by the three-quarter mile mark, making the final turn for home. Angelic Vision is taking them through the lane. Princetown Grace moving up on the outside. Angelic Vision strong and deep stretch. Angelic Vision to win it. Second is Princetown Grace. Just Souza for three. It's post time. Starter calls the horses. Race eight, top of the stretch. The Heraldstead Memorial has one energetic rhythm. Two, Victor Laszlo. Three, Lonesome Fugitive. Four, Power of Gold. Six on the outside, Herod's son. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Energetic rhythm for the late as they go racing into the first turn. Energetic rhythm is showing the way up front. Moving up on the outside. Now to challenge second is Herod's son. Racing it along the rail. Third is a lonesome fugitive. Power of gold of fourth. Fifth trailing is Victor Laszlo. They go racing to the opening quarter. And your leader is energetic rhythm past the quarter mile mark. Racing second is a Herod Sun. Moving up power of gold. Goes on the attack wide third. Lonesome fugitive in four. And your trailer moving out is Victor Laszlo. Quarter mile in 30 and two fifths. Off the top turn they come. Swinging for the half mile mark. Led by energetic 
Tiger Rhythm up front. Up to on the outside is Power of Gold. They're racing it along the rail third as they approach the half Herod Sun. Then Victor Laszlo and your trailer Lonesome Fugitive. One half gone, one to go as they race the paddock turn second time. Going to the 5 ace three wide move from Victor Laszlo. He wants the lead as they get on by the 5 h mark. Half a mile a minute for fast. They race neck and neck up front. Energetic rhythm is taken on Victor Laszlo as they get on by the three quarter mile mark. Herod sent up along the rail showing third as they go racing to the 7 h mark. Victor Laszlo and energetic rhythm. They are neck and neck to the 7 h One, 31 and three, three quarters. Here comes a lonesome fugitive up on the outside. Through the stretch they come. A lonesome fugitive on the outside. Energetic rhythm. Energetic rhythm is gonna win it. Lonesome fugitive second. Herod's son for three. Bay Gelding by Energy Burner from the damn Zips Rhythm. On a John Moore, Essex, Ontario. Paul McDonald in the bike for the winning drive. Wire to wire victory. 202 the mile for one. Energetic Rhythm. On trackside, members of the family of the late Harold Stead presenting the Harold Stead Memorial Cooler. Sid Stead at trackside along with Sid Stead Jr. Gary Stead home from Ontario and Frank Daniels and wife Edna who celebrated their 56th wedding anniversary yesterday. On the trackside, presenting the Harold Stead Memorial Cooler to Energetic Rhythm and Paul McDonald winning in 202. Race nine, top of the stretch, the McIsaac Yonker and Roach Pace has one Oyster Stew, two Kill Karen Jock, three Dusty Lane Dale for Determined Glory, five Warren Grove Dandy, six Paris Adios, seven on the outside is Deep to Rubble. Here they come. Air off and pacing, kill Karen Jack, Dusty Lane, Dale and Oyster Stew up the rail. They go battling for the lead as they drive into the first turn. Oyster Stew showing the way up front, kill Karen Jack drives the outside second. Up along the rail is Determined Glory showing third. Dusty Lane, Dale on the outside and four. Warren Grove Dandy is showing fifth, Paris Adios. And Deep Trouble is trailing. They race to the opening quarter. Oyster Mr. Stew is showing the way up front. Parked on the outside, looking for the latest kill. Karen Jack showing third up the rail is determined glory. Dusty Lane Dale is racing in four. 30 and four by the opening quarter. Off the top turn they come, swinging for the half. Kill Karen Jock parked out. They are battling up front. As they move in front of the stand, first time Oyster Stew and Kill Karen Jack. They are battling past the half mile mark. Determined Glory racing it along the rail third. Dusty Lane Dale is showing fourth. Deep Trouble goes up on the outside in five. They were by the half in a 102. Oyster Stew is your leader by the five eights. There goes Dusty Lane Dale up three wood on the outside. Hey, your three wide heads are part of up front as they get on by the three quarter mile mark Dusty Lane Dale deep trouble is going up on the extreme outside now second oyster stew dropping back Paris Adios on the outside driving third Warren Grove Dandy coming on fourth one 32 and four by the three quarter mile mark Dusty Lane Dale in deep trouble they are neck and neck turning for home it's deep Deep trouble coming to the top. Dusty Lane Dale, Warren Grove Dandy, right down to the wire. Deep trouble. 
Hotel won it. It's close for second and third between Determined Glory and Paris Adios. Back to the wire is your run official winner of race nine, the Mikaji Yonker and a Roach Chartered Accountants Pace, your number seven entry, Deep Trouble. Seven-year-old pacing Bay Mare by Troublemaker from the damn final curtain. On we carry Dowling and Warren Gregory of Charlottetown. Mike Dowling in the bike for the driving win, the mile 202 and four for seven, Deep Trouble. Now trackside, Sean McIsaac of McIsaac, Yonker and Roach Chartered Accountants, along with Leith Dickerson, director here at the driving park, presenting the cooler to the winning horse of their race, Deep Trouble, winning 2-0, 2 and 4. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lee Drake from Q93 Radio. Now parading are the entries in race number 10, the CFCY Q93 Pace. It features Triactor and Exactor Wagering. One is Scratch, two, Rusty Roan, owned by Jamie Gass of Cornwall. Your driver, Dan Gass. Three. It's time a starter calls the horses. Race 10, top of the stretch, the CFCY Q93 pace has two, Rusty Roan, three Omaha Gambler, four, Rugacity, five, ten speed, a wonder, six is Garvin's Playboy, seven on the outside is Herod's Image, here they come. They're off and pacing four wide up front as the lay of the gate racing into the first turn. Rusty Brown up the rail goes for the lead and uh, gets it. Omaha Gambler comes away second. Rugosity is racing third. Ten speed a wonder up on the outside and for Gervin's Playboy and uh, Herod's Image trails. They race to the opening quarter. Up on the outside, Rugosity now moves on the leader, Rusty Brown. As they move by the quarter mile mark, Rusty Roan shows the way to the three eighths of Mark. Rugacity's up to on the outside. Omaha Gambler showing third up the rail. Ten speed a wonder is showing fourth. They were by the opening quarter in 30 and a one fifth. Off the top turn they come. Racing through the stretch, they approach the half mile mark. And your leader is Rusty Roan by here first time. Here comes. Comes 10 speed a wonder up on the outside. He's now battling for the lane. Omaha Gambler racing it along the rail. Third, Rugosity, fourth, Garvin's Playboy. And uh, Harrods Image trails half a mile a minute too fast. They're on the back stretch. Second and final time. Rusty Roan still on top. 10 speed a wonder drives at him on the outside. Second, there goes Garvin's Playboy up on the outside. Outside third, they're by 
made the three quarter mile mark. Race the far turn final time. And a rusty road has taken him to the seven eight. Ten speed a wonder is second. Garvin's Playboy up on the outside third. One thirty one by the three quarters. It's a rusty round taking him on home. Here comes Ten speed a wonder on the outside. Garvin's Playboy is getting up. Ten speed a wonder. Ten speed wonder. Tawana. Garvin's Playboy second. Rusty round for three. Your official winner of race 10, the CFCY Q93 pace, your number 5 entry, 10 speed wonder. Eight year old pacing Bay Gelding by Sir Ten Ten from the Dan, Mamie's Best. On to Kevin Peters, North Wiltshire. Gary McDonald catch driving for the win. The mile 201 for 5, 10 speed wonder. Now, trackside on behalf of CFCY Q93 is station manager Frank Lewis, along with Lidlifer Drake of Q93 Radio, presenting the CFCY Q93 cooler to the winning horse 10 Speed Wonder in 201 the mile. Final race of this evening, top of the stretch, Evening Patriot Gold Cup and Saucer Consolation has two, Baker Harry, three, Boyle Almahurst, four, Sunset Collin, five, Circuit City, six, Reggae, seven on the outside of West River Diesel, purse of $7,500, here they come. Air off and pacing Sunset Colin following to get out for the lead as they go racing into the first turn Sunset Colin shows the way has it by two open lines Baker Harry is racing a second showing third is Boyle Elmhurst from four is Circuit City Reggae and the West River Diesel is trailing they go racing to the opening quarter Sunset Colin on top has it by two racing Second is Baker Harry from three. Boyle Elmer, Circuit City is pacing for the reggae. And the West River Diesel is trailing 29 and three by the opening quarter. He comes swinging off the top turn. And the Sunset Collin shows the way by two. Baker Harry is second. Up on the outside. Here comes Boyle Elmer, not a challenge. Racing fourth Circuit City reggae. And the West River Diesel is terrific. One half gone, one to go as they race the paddock turn second time. Sunset Colin is your leader up front. 58 and 3 by the half mile mark. Three eights all left to go. Sunset Collins taking them backside. Final time. Boyle Elmer her second. There goes Circuit City up on the outside going three wide third. Baker Harry Reggae and the West River Diesel is trailing there by the Three quarter mile mark, Sunset Colin is still in command. Circuit City is coming up on the outside second. 128 by the three quarter mile mark at Sunset Colin. Circuit City is giving chase on the outside. Sunset Colin. Circuit City is coming up on the outside with Reggae. They race it out right down to the wire. It's going to be Circuit City. Shane Arsenault win gold cup and saucer consolation. It's close for second and third.
Back to the wire is your unofficial winner of race 11, the evening Patrick Gold Cup and Saucer Constellation, your number five entry, Circuit City. Five-year-old pacing big gelding by Cam Fella from the Dam Keystone Duchess. On by Shane Arsenal, John Stevens, Leon Hatsalono, and Pat Cardwell. Shane in the bag for the driving win. Good stretch drive to win at 157 and two the mile for five. Circuit City. Now a trackside, Gary McDougall representing the Evening Patriot, presenting the Consolation Cooler to the winning horse of race number 11, Circuit City, and the winning connection, co-owner Shane Arsenal in the bike for the driving win, the mile, 157 and 2. Here now are the official results of race 11. One scratch, two Baker Harry, six. Three Boyle Elmerhurst, five. Four Sunset Colin, three. Five Circuit City, your race winner. Six Reggae, two. Seven West River Diesel, four. Fractions, quarter 29 and three. The half, 58 and three. Three quarters, 128. The mile, 157 and a two. Top down, drawn six, five. Three, one, two, four. That's it for this evening. We're back here harness racing tomorrow afternoon. Post time will be at one o'clock. Total wager on tonight's program, $155,440. The Driving Park thanks you for your attendance here this evening. On your way home, please drive.